Hey man, I think we're getting raided. Can you get on? Oh, it's night time. This is perfect. They don't know. <clears throat> Doubt it. Let's do this. Yo, what's up, man? I'm almost loaded in. Good morning, friends. see raid base. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's active. What? Okay, I'm on. Yeah, it's over. This is such a cool trick. Hello, everybody. So today we'll look at this amazing trick, originally shown to me by my friend Disrupted, which I've since tinkered with quite a bit. For whoever's a bit slow today, what's happening here is that I'm tracking with a searchlight while aiming and firing at the same time from the relative safety of my shooting floor. This works since you can control a searchlight that's directly above you if your head is close enough to it. And it's extremely fun, but also very useful. Whether it's raid defense, the nightmare in Grub Street when downing heli at night, some random door camper ambush or a teammate farming outside the base. It's a classy solution for especially annoying nighttime situations, and one that every serious base should incorporate. So let me show you five plug and play designs using this trick, which you can easily add to your bases. This first one is a single triangle setup that's especially easy to incorporate into any build, and even includes a kind of poor man's peak down. Anywhere on the roof of your base, just build a triangle frame out, a couple of window frames on it, and a frame on top, which you'll need to upgrade to metal. Next, we'll need a platform to crouch on closer to the searchlight to operate it. And a stone frame here will provide some protection. A couple of siren lights down here will give us the poor man's peak down, also preventing accidental foliage and tumblage. And finally, the searchlight goes right here. And that's number one done. To use it, simply crouch under the light, turn it on and get your KD ratio up. The second variation is the one Disrupted originally showed me. Where instead of a window we have a double door we can open and close in need, with a raised ramp to bring us closer to the searchlight and offer some protection. And it's as effective as it is simple to build, with the entire design consisting of a simple double door and a raised ramp behind it. I'd say it has better long range vision than the previous version, though you have to be closer to the edge to operate the searchlight and may be slightly more vulnerable. It's also easy to integrate into a base's shooting floor. Now this one is my absolute favorite. The one I use with my Dream Trio base. You can have an overpowered ramp peak down, there's room for a convenient large box for defense kits, and these metal steps give you amazing concealment and protection. Just to illustrate, this is what you see. And this is what the enemy sees. Yeah, pretty dismal prospects for anyone picking a fight with us here. Also, tinkering with this, I discovered you can actually operate the searchlight through the ceiling, if you get close enough to it. Now a valid question would be, why not just use weapon flashlights? Good question. Well first, there is a pretty huge range difference. Weapon flashlights are nice for close range, but that's about it. If your shooting floor is high, the weapon flashlight will become almost useless even. And worse, Using weapon flashlights gives enemies a target to aim at, where they had none before. We don't want that. So, to build the basic version of this beauty. Let's assume this is the wall of your base. All you need to do is add one square out, surround it with window frames, 
and add the metal steps, through which you can place a large box. I prefer embrasures on the sides but only window bars in front, so as not to impede my own vision. The steps window combination is already top notch protection. The searchlight doesn't need to go all the way at the edge, but just about here. This means you won't have to always stand right on the edge here and can operate it from a more protected position. And that's the simple version done. Now if you want to add the whole Dream Trio style peak downs, then you'll have to build the whole thing another step forward from your base wall, on separate supports. Behind the module you just add a frame, close it in, then add some twig supports to build the ramp peak. The metal steps will then take over stability for the ramp, allowing you to shoot out the twig. And there you go, beautiful peak down. By the way, the simplest thing you can do is just to stand behind the searchlights, and you can control multiple searchlights at once. The advantage is that you're completely and utterly invisible. If you have a silencer, game over. And it's very difficult to hit you blindly because the spotlights block shots too. The downside is that the spotlights have a very weird hitbox and will sometimes block your shots as well. Now this last variation is meant to make you very hard to hit at the cost of blocking some short range vision. To build it, find a vacant square on which to place a half wall and a window frame on top. A slanted roof goes here, and then we just close off the sides. And there we have our tiny shooting port. So, these were 5 designs showcasing the overpowered function of the mostly neglected searchlight. I'm sure you guys can come up with more and better besides, and maybe this poor placeable will finally get the recognition it deserves. For me the clear winner of this lot is the Metal Steps one, for how much actual concealment and protection it offers. So I hope you enjoyed this, that you learned something new and fun, and my channel is full of similar videos exploring all sorts of cool ideas and mechanics. You're more than welcome to check them out, leave a like and subscribe for more. Before we part, I'd like to start giving shoutouts to fellow content creators, because if you have a stage, any stage, I think that's what you're supposed to do with it. So today I'd like to feature my buddy Just Another Gamer. Now the pace at which he makes content is truly awe-inspiring. And were you to view it without knowing whose channel it is, you'll be thinking you're watching Alone in Tokyo. He's that good. He's also a great builder and all-around nice guy, so please check him out, link in the description below. And all that said, have a beautiful, amazing day. Goodbye for now, and blessed be.